Hey, like how things. It's going good, Spite. How about you? Yeah, he did act kind of fast. I think he didn't realize he was gonna kill himself. Otherwise, I would have thought a little bit longer. He's probably still staring at the defeat screen, wondering what happened. <laughs> I'd love to like to see the look on his face. See, Abomination won us a game. Uh, Lothab wouldn't have done the same. Or not Lothab, Belcher. Belcher would not have been the same. So yeah, so far I really like this tech. Hmm. I don't have Frost Nova, but a couple of Dooms here, so I'm just gonna drop it now. He could have Keeper. He has enough mana to Keeper. Just hope he doesn't have it. Alright. Well, he had it. There's a Frost Nova. But not like the Frost Nova. BGH for Boom, anyways. Poly. Um, and we're safe. We're safe from combo. Even if he has Innervate combo. Maybe we save Alex for self heal then. I love how this deck feigns death for the most part and then just slams Molten and heals back to stable. Yeah, I love the stabilization of this deck. I felt Abomination costs too much mana for what it does. No, no, no. I'm not saying like you replace Explosive Sheep with Abomination. I'm replacing Belcher with Abomination. Five mana for five mana. Right? So there's no way that Abomination costs too much for what it replaced, which is Belcher. I'm just saying that. It does it does a better job at clearing things with Belcher. Sometimes you're like you just hope Belcher is able to uh, soak up all the damage. Like you just hope all the tokens trade into Belcher. But because of things like Blessing of Kings, Power Overwhelming, that kind of stuff, they can just use one token. They can use one token to trade with Belcher. But now one token can't really trade Abomination because Abomination kills off all the other tokens too. So I don't know. Nice to win when your opponent draws his two sciences in clutch spots. Yeah. The same guy? Same guy. People are arguing with a legend player when they're probably rank 18. No, no, no. I think it's it's valid to ask about ask these questions. Also, have you matched up against any patron warriors? Not recently. I haven't seen too many patrons. Should I set up Doomsayer here? I think set up Doomsayer, turn 3, uh, set up dupe, and then play the sheep on turn 4. I want to dupe the sheeps. Sheep's gonna be good this game. It's valid to ask questions, not to say the cards are bad in their deck. Yeah, well, I mean, it could be phrased differently, like, hey, do you think Abomination is too expensive for what it does? But, like, if you have seen the previous version of this and what, what it was, it was Belcher. So, they're both 5 mana. Shredder, okay. Living Roots. Maybe a Savage Roar up. He probably will just Savage Roar face. Get the value from having the tokens on the board. If he wants to develop anything else, then he needs to hit this. So I played this after, so I guess if I ping here, 
It should, this should uh, pop first and then the sheep explodes. Wow, that's pretty lucky. Never lucky. So set up ice block or set up explosive sheep. Probably need to get ice block up. Turn five, fell reaver. We have BGH, and I'm fine duping the BGH because it's going to be second fell reaver. If he has Savage Roar, like one Savage Roar is 8 plus uh, 5, 13 plus 14. So, I guess I have time to ping like this. He needs Double Roar to pop the block. Shredder again. Interesting. We have a second ice black, so we have plenty of stall time. Or plenty of time to stall. So we flame strike here. Hopefully what comes out of Shredder is not too high attack. Alright, that's fine. Okay. He has to deal 9 damage on empty board, which is not possible unless he has innervate. Because the most he can do on 9 is, um, or on 7 is Force of Nature and Living Roots, which is 8 damage. So he's going to put us down to 6. I think we ping this and play Abomination. Because then on the following turn, we can Alex ourselves back to 15. Yeah, so we ping this. Or we can ping this guy too. What's better? So if we ping this, it's more like everything will be wiped out. Uh, but then he can trade both of these in before he plays Force of Nature. If we hit this... Like if we, yeah, we play this here. He needs to somehow kill this before he plays Force of Nature. Although he could swipe. If he swipes this, he could swipe face. He could swipe face and just like hero power this down. And that will pop the block. But that still leaves him with no board. Really? Force of Nature first? It doesn't seem right, okay. But it still pops this guy. Innervates. Okay. Okay, options, options. So I want to clear the board. In order to clear the board, we need to play Abomination. If we play Abomination, then we need to play Ice Block. So I think that's what we do. Abomination, Ice Block. It is our last Ice Block. Yes, if he pops us open, it clears the Ice Block, but it clears his whole board too, and then we Alex ourselves. And then we just hope he doesn't actually develop anything else. Like hopefully this is, it could be Force of Nature or something. Just something that he hangs on to. You guys are talking about Heckler? Yeah, the problem with Heckler is the 4 health. The 4 health is not it's not high enough for a taunt. Unless it has like some other effect, like this one, the AoE effect. 
So yeah, I think it's pretty simple. You just hit this, it pops a block, clears your board. Good, so this is not a, a minion. Reach the beast. Frost Nova. We need to set up a taunt. So I think I want to do this abomination. And Frost Nova. Uh, just go face. Thanking me. Okay, so we can pop the spiders. I guess we should draw first. There might be something useful we can draw into, like heal bot. Nice. Yeah, pop the spiders. We can clear the board. This sets a dupe. I'm fine duping heal bot. Like super late for you. It is. It is super late for me. I just went longer than usual because we got we got hosts. So I just want to give the new viewers a, a taste of what the stream is like, so they can decide whether or not they want to follow slash tune in in the future. By the way, if you guys haven't given me a follow yet and you enjoy the stream, please give me a follow. Um, we're almost at 3k followers, and I'm going to do like a giveaway when we hit 3k. 